<laughs> oh, welcome, Wolf and Wolf X, to House Flipper on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, this game right here is the type of game that I don't genuinely really play on my YouTube channel, but with how I'm feeling at the moment and with how everything that's going on at the moment, I thought this would be the perfect time to play this game because it is a very slow paced game. Now if you've never heard of House Flipper, the main objective of this game is to purchase houses, do them up, renovate them, make them look absolutely stunning, sell them for a profit and then buy an even bigger, better house and just rinse and repeat. That's the main objective of this game. And then you've also got other objectives where you can click on your laptop and you can do random jobs for other people that might want you to come to their house, do a bit of cleaning for them. Maybe they'll want you to come to their house and build a little study for them. Maybe they'll want you to do up the bedroom, stuff like that, and they'll pay you a bit of money. But that's the main objective of this game. Now you have to do absolutely everything. You've got to do the fixtures, you've got to do the plumbing, you've got to manually install everything you do, whether it's radiators, showers, toilets, you've got to sell it all up yourself, you've got to paint all the walls, you've got to do the plastering, you've got to do absolutely everything in these houses. But it is a very slow paced, relaxing game. So I thought it was the perfect game for me to play after suffering through moving out with my sister. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing this. I'm not sure how many videos I'm gonna do with this. I'll play it and if you guys and girls enjoy it, then I'll carry on for a little while. But I think what I'll do is I'll play through some objectives and then once I've played through the objectives and I've got enough money, I'll buy my first house. We'll do it up together. You guys and girls can let me know in the comments what you want, me to, what you want it to look like and then uh, I'll sell it for a profit and then if people are still enjoying it, then maybe we'll buy another house. But it's a very good game, very slow paced. Welcome to House Flipper. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you can call your office and the laptop that is your command centre. Lovely. Right, so at the moment, oh actually, there's a couple of things I need to change in the settings. Now, uh, first things first, we need to change to pounds because I definitely don't want to be working in dollars. Um, I'm going to leave the tips and information turned on just because for some reason I always forget the controls in this game. You can also change the cockroaches in this game to broken glass. I'm going to assume that's for people that are scared of cockroaches. <laughs> that's, a, that's a damn good setting that is. Obviously I don't care about cockroaches. If it was spiders then I would change it. Uh, you've got a day and night cycle so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this because I want the game to stay in the daytime. I don't really want it to turn into nighttime because it's quite hard to see what to do. So we're going to disable the uh, day and night mode. Uh, highlight colour, we're going to leave that on blue. You can change the assembly mode to hard, so I think it just makes setting up radiators and stuff more difficult. So I'm, I'm going to leave that on easy because I don't, I don't see why you'd want to make that hard. Right, graphics, I don't think we need to mess with anything on there. Controls, Sound. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit just because uh, otherwise you guys and girls might not be able to hear me. I should have done all of this before I started recording, I do apologise. Lovely. Right, so uh, at the moment our only tool is to move objects. But as what you're going to pretty much do for the first probably couple of hours of this game is you're going to do random things like taking random missions and stuff for people where they want you to come to their house and clean up and stuff like that and you're slowly gonna um, make more money and then once you've done that and you've made more money you can buy your first property and that's when the game really opens up but now for now we just have to deal with our really crappy house but it might be frustrating to watch me play this just because I get very OCD with the little details, you know, like when I first came into here I had to straighten up all of my tools on this desk because it was driving me insane <laughs> The laptop will allow you to find jobs buy houses and switch between them You cannot afford to buy a house yet, but it looks like you already have your first email lovely, right? I'm just gonna clean up my uh, Gonna clean up my house first because it is an absolute dump but when once you've unlocked all the tools and stuff once you've done all of the I guess it'll be tutorials, to be honest. It's sort of like tutorials. But once you've done a few tutorials, then uh, you, you unlock a bunch of tools like paint rollers, 
you unlock a mop to clean things, then we can come in here and make this place look a little bit more swanky. But for now, we're going to have to deal with this fucking tramp's house. <laughs> right, let's have a look then. Let's uh, let me close my door so no weirdos come trotting into my house because you never know. It doesn't. It looks like I live in a pretty damn good neighbourhood though, doesn't it? I mean, this is like a pretty like fancy looking neighbourhood, kind of place where you wouldn't find many criminals. But then you've got me, this absolute fucking degenerate living in this dirty little thing in the middle of this little bit of grass. <laughs> I look like I'm the local flipping psychopath, don't I? Jesus, right. But yeah, like I said, this is a very slow paced game, so I'm not sure if everyone's gonna enjoy me playing this because it ain't the kind of game I really do on this channel, but I like to keep things different and I'm not exactly really in the best of moods at the moment, so it's, it's better for me to play something slow. Right, so we can browse here. And these are all the houses you can purchase. As you can see, they've all got various different prices. I like the names of some of them. If you go all the way to the end, I've never seen this one before. Because I watched um, Sips play this from the Yogs cast. I watched him play it maybe a year or two ago. And uh, it, I really liked it, but it was only on PC at the time, so I never ended up buying it. Now it's on PS4. I thought, fuck yeah. I think it came out in February. Look at that. The Alone Home. Because it looks like the house from Home Alone. But yeah, you can eventually buy all these really big houses and do them up and stuff. You've got the man cave right there with some bloody graffiti on it. But yeah, the first one we're going to buy will obviously be this one right here. But for now, we have to do random, random missions. So we've got an email from Sarah Lewis. Ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. Bloody hell. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on Face Spam. Oh, what, what a name, Face Spam. Definitely what Facebook is, Face Spam. That my ex boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess, and stole the radiator. Is it possible that some other things. It is possible that some other things are missing too. Please, clean up in the house and replace the missing appliances. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I will settle it with my ex boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Lovely. Now, um, I think, I don't know about this mission, but I think when you get some of the missions later on in the game, you can complete them when they're at 70% and you can complete the mission. But uh, I'm going to do all of the missions to 100% just because I think you get more money doing that. But yeah, I think all we've got to do is clean up this place, get her a new radiator, because you have to use your own money to uh, do all of the fixtures and furniture and stuff, but obviously you'll make a profit when you're done. Like in this job, we're going to spend like 30 quid on a radiator and I think we get played like 200, so it's very, very good uh, wages in this game. Congratulations, you have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you will be able to clean dirty stuff using the mop. It's amazing because you can use the mop on the ceiling, you can use it on the sofas. This is probably one of the greatest mops you're ever going to have in the game. But um, I'm going to, uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to upgrade my mop anyway. Because you've got skill points in this game as well. As you do things, you unlock new skills that allow you to paint faster and stuff. Alright. Alright, let's clean up this dump then. Cleaning up's easy. you just got to uh, click on the items and it magically gets placed into your Mary Poppins pocket. It's a good job you don't have to manually carry all of the rubbish outside into a bin or something. Because uh, the game would definitely be a lot more slower then. But you've got a little progress bar in each room you're in that tells you what you need to do. I mean, what kind of absolute weirdo goes into their ex-girlfriend's house and steals the radiator? I mean, what, what do you achieve? I mean, if it was winter, I suppose it would, like, I don't know, make them cold. But uh, what is the benefit of doing that? I don't understand. <laughs> of all the ways of getting revenge on an ex-lover, stealing their radiator. Lovely. Look at this. Like... What did he even do? This is messed up. Like, <sighs> flipping mess he's made in here. Jesus, like someone's had explosive diarrhea in here, ain't they? I mean, the toilet looks pretty clean, to be honest. Can I open it? No. Right, let's get me old uh, broom out. Me mop, I should say. It will be a broom eventually, but for now it's a mop. It's such a relaxing game though. Especially when you're like doing up your own house and stuff and then you're just, you're just in there doing some painting, doing a bit of plastering and all that good stuff. It's a very, very relaxing game. 
Especially when you've been playing stuff like Luigi's Mansion where there's like loads of ghosts that are constantly attacking you. Here we go, we can have a look at our uh, skill points now. Now depending on what you're doing it will uh, give you skill points. Because you have to be doing each of these different things to earn a skill point. So when we're doing lots of like cleaning we're going to get cleaning skill points. There we go, we're going to get another skill point once we've cleaned 75 elements or we've got rid of... Um, 75 bits of trash, but I'm going to go on to this because I think it increases the range which is very useful So we're going to get that but it turns your mop into a, uh, a broom See, <laughs> but I think it increases the range of cleaning so very good especially if you're getting like the ceilings and stuff But yeah, we'll probably get maybe two um, We'll probably get like two missions done in this in this video and then uh I don't need to do this, but I can't be dealing with these wonky wonky tables. But I'll probably get like two missions done in this and then we will um, have to end it. And then next time, we'll do some of the more better objectives. I think it tells you when you can buy your first property anyway. You have to sort of clean up the floor and move stuff around anyway so you can clean all these bits. I mean, look at that. What kind of fantastic broom is this that you can flip and sweep dirt off of a sofa? I mean, look, it even works on a bed. Look at that, amazing. Beautiful. Already looks pretty damn sexy, doesn't it? Hey, look, she's got a PlayStation 4 collection. Oh, no, it's DVD, isn't it? Not sure what DVDs they are. We'll do the radiator in a second. I just want to clean up first. Pretty much, you go into a house, pick up all the rubbish, then do all the cleaning. Sometimes you have to clean the windows as well, I think. Doesn't look like you have to. Should we open the window? We probably need to open the window. This place looks like it, it, looks like it stinks. Okay, looks like everything's done. Should we pick that up off the floor because it's really bothering me? There we go. I'm also going to straighten this TV up because that is also bothering me. There we go. Should we straighten this thing as well? Beautiful. I'll move this over a little bit as well. Thankfully, my character is proper buff. There we go. Look at that. Look at this place. Look at this. She should give me a bonus. She didn't tell me to come and straighten up the furniture, did she? From now on, you have a tablet at your disposal. Press the touchpad to use it or hide it. It allows you to buy things. It will be handy for this task. Lovely, right. So when you're doing these missions, I recommend buying the cheapest thing, unless they specify what they want. Because uh, the cheaper the stuff you spend money on, the more money you make when you finish the job. I uh, don't think we need to search. I think it's on installations. Just want a cheap radiator. There we go. 32 quid. Lovely. Now we've got to actually assemble it. Now I'm going to assume that if you select the hard option, it's probably not going to tell you where to click. But uh, that just seems like an annoying thing to me, so I'm going to make sure I leave that option turned to easy. <laughs> I do know how to set up most of the stuff in this game in real life, like doing plumbing a bit and all that, but yeah, not everything. There we go. The job is 100% complete. Yeah, see, look at that. You may now complete the job for £578. Could you imagine if that's how much money you made from doing jobs in real life? Like, that is literally not too far off my actual real life wage from doing cleaning every day for a month. Two cleaning jobs. Cleaning an entire junior school, and I get nearly that wage a month. I literally went into someone's house, cleaned up a bit of dirt, set up a radiator and got paid my wage in about an hour. <laughs> I need to get this job. I'm going to uh, scrub up my house a little bit while I'm here. I don't need to, but if we're going to be living in this dump, we want to make sure it's clean. I think all the gutterings all like mouldy and crappy too. Yeah, look. I mean, what kind of sick degenerate are you? Why did you let your house get in such a state? Is that dirt? No, oh, damn, there's dirt on the floor as well. But even, um, you can also do the gardens outside as well. So when you've got like scrape marks on the floor, I don't think that's a scrape, no, that's a, that's a shadow. But you have like scrape marks on the floor that you can like fix by laying new grass on the lawn and all stuff like that. It's, you could do everything in this game. So if you like decorating houses and that's something that you're into, this is definitely the game for you. But you've also got people that comment on your house while you're decorating it. And uh, if you're trying to... Um, 
sell a house to a specific person, they make comments on the left of the screen as you're like building up your house and stuff. So sometimes you've got like old couples, you've got like families, you've got single blokes or single women, and they make comments about what you're doing. So if you're trying to sell to a specific person, you have to sort of listen to what they're saying. I think there's trophies for selling things to uh, certain people, but not too fussed about the trophies because this is just my YouTube playthrough. So I'll just do whatever the hell I want and what you guys and girls want. Right, let's go and do the next mission now. Cleaning the garage. What's her name? Caroline Smith. Hello, we need to clean the garage. Please throw away all the boxes, trash and old tyres. Please don't forget to clean the windows too. It, it's, it's better not to touch the tools though. My husband doesn't like when someone moves them and he can't find them afterward. Afterward. <laughs> Regards, Caroline Smith. Lovely. Lovely, right. I'm definitely going to move your tools. If they look really wonky and out of place, I'm sure as hell going to move your tools, mate. I'm not going to leave them. Because it'll bother me. Actually, I think there's a random trophy you can get in this mission. You see that dude in the corner there? He's probably behind my head. But uh, he says, I want a bedroom in my house. So uh, some people literally don't want bedrooms in a house, like some of the people you're building houses for. So, uh, but look at this, look. If you pick up this car, there you go, random trophy for you. <laughs> Like the people, I mean, even though this area looks pretty damn fancy, doesn't it? The people in this area are absolute degenerates, aren't they? I mean, look at the state of this. I mean, it is a garage, so I can understand it being a bit filthy, but the other person's house, it makes no sense at all. Right, let's throw the rubbish away. Sometimes in this game, though, it is pretty awkward to find bits of dirt. Like, you could be on 99% and you can't find a little teeny bit of dirt. It can be quite annoying. So, uh, just a word of warning. There is upgrades you can get, like skill points, where it will show all of the rubbish in the room on your mini-map in the corner. Like all the dirt marks, not the rubbish. So, I just, uh, just thought I'd let you know. I mean, the map at the moment is showing all of the rubbish, so that's useful. Just, there we go. And this one as well. Don't need to do this, but we might as well. <laughs> What's over here? Another bit of rubbish over here, I think. Oh, there we go. Didn't even see that box. Lovely. Is that rubbish? Beautiful. Hey, look, we've got another skill point. Um... I'm going to go with 25% faster cleaning, just because you're going to do a lot of cleaning in this game. You're going to have to move these bikes out of the way as well. Look at that. Pretty damn nice bike, isn't it? Let's put it over here. Lovely. There we go. Beautiful. Right, let's chuck all this crap away. And now we'll get out our super broom. Right. I think my favourite part of this game is... I wouldn't say the cleaning, just because this is what I do in real life. So I don't really want to come home from work. Not that I'm at work at the moment, because uh, all this crap is going on with the virus. But um, the last thing I want to do is come home from work where I clean. And then clean in a video game. But uh, it's quite enjoyable in this game. But I think my favourite thing is probably, probably the painting. I think the only thing that sort of irritates me about the painting is you have to keep dipping your roller in the paint can, which uh, obviously, like I said, this game is very slow paced. If you're a fan of fast, crazy action games, this might not be the best game for you. <laughs> but I, I personally, I, I play any game really. I don't think there's any kind of genre I don't like, except maybe horror. But that's only because I'm a baby. Even then, I do like some horror games. Oh, we have to clean the window. Oh yeah, the, the cleaning the window is really fancy in this game. So you've got like, like these things right here, normally you use them to get rid of like the smears on the window, but it seems like this thing right here just cleans the window. It's like it's got steam coming out of it. It makes like a steam noise. Can you hear it? Oh, that is nice, isn't it? You have to actually control this thing and scrub the window. Oh, look at that. 
There we go. 100%. Beautiful. You have completed 100% of this job. Look at that. 351 quid. All I did was come in here, pick up a couple of tyres. I suppose if you're really weak, that could be a bit hard because tyres can be quite heavy, but everyone could pick up a tyre near enough. So uh, you got to pick up a few tyres, a couple of dirty boxes, chuck them outside in the bin, scrub the floor, 351 quid. It'll probably take you maybe two hours if you're slow. Man, I think um, the currency of this game is actually, I think the, 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 the developers, I think they use euros. So I think the actual currency in this game and also the trophies are based on euros, possibly. I'm not sure though. Your own photos and images. Have you noticed that by using the gallery tab on the tablet, you can choose from many images and use it as a poster or a picture to hang on your wall? You can also use the camera tab to take photos of the game and save your works. Lovely. So if you, if you build a really nice house in this game or you've made a really cool garden, you can um, take pictures of it, which is nice. But obviously, we can just use the share button. <laughs> so uh, that's more probably for PC. Right. But even on PC, you just print, print screen, don't you? Right. Have I got enough time to do another one? Yeah. Ten minutes. I think the next job might be a... Actually, no. I think the next jobs are a bit... I suppose we can... I suppose we can clean up our house a bit. Right, let's clean up our house a bit. I'll clean up our house and I'll end it for today and then we'll carry on next time. Because the next two jobs that I'm going to be doing are uh, flipping. Now, I must be one ugly git. I don't even have a reflection. I must be a ghost. I sure, I might be Dracula. <laughs> Damn. I suppose I can use some money and set up a few fixtures. Because I've got room in here for one of those towel radiators by the looks of it. And we can also put a radiator over there as well. I've got a fucking chainsaw in my house as well. Look at the state of this place. It's disgusting, isn't it? I suppose we could just sort out my house quickly while I'm here, and then we'll... Um, I, don't even, uh, I don't even want any of these things, but you can't sell them until you unlock the selling gun, which is like a random little gun that you click on things to sell it. But we ain't unlocked that yet. So uh, we're going to have to wait for now. I think we unlock it after the next mission, probably. Oh, no, that's annoying as hell. There we go. You've got to line everything up correctly in this game. Otherwise, you're just going to you're just gonna throw up every time you look at anything you do in this game. <laughs> Straighten that up. I'm going to move these things over a little bit as well, just because I want to um, build a radiator, and I don't think there's enough room. Look at the state of my bed. Now, what have you been doing with this? Can I even make the bed? Or is that already... Oh, I suppose it's already made, isn't it? Right, let's quickly get myself a radiator. It's only going to cost like 30 quid. I'm not going to do it. I think when you decorate the houses that you buy, I think you can choose to maybe live in them, but I might be wrong. But I don't think you'd want to do that. I suppose you want to just live in this crappy little shed. All right. Look at that. Air conditioning. Jesus. Large... Should we get a light? No, we'll get, we'll get a normal radiator. We don't need anything fancy. It's only a little one-bedroom shed, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely. I suppose I could, like, maybe try and build my own house in this game. Obviously, we won't be able to do too much with the first few houses because they're, um, they're too small. But later on in the game, um, you get bigger houses with like two floors. So then you can actually do really good stuff. What's this then? 10% extra payment for the job. Oh, hell yeah. Is there a one for paint? Oh, no. Mountain. I guess we want to get this one, don't we? Because we're not going to be doing no tiling or plastering yet. So we'll get this one. Right. That's that radiator done. Yeah, I think we'll leave it like this for now. We'll carry on with this next time. In the next video, I'll get myself a towel radiator. And uh, then we'll do some more missions. And then hopefully, once we've got enough money, we can buy our first house. But yeah, thanks for watching, Warfalbets. Hopefully, you uh, enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you're interested in this game. I can understand if you're not, but it's a relaxing game. And it's the game I want to play for now. But I think, 
I'm going to do some other games, maybe some PS1 games soon as well, because I ain't played any of my old games for a while. So I have to set my PS3 up though and all my other HDCP removal flipping things and all that kind of stuff. So I have to see because it's a lot of effort and I ain't got much room to set a PS3 up at the moment. But I have to see. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Like, share and join the pack today.